Welcome to City Council Rewind, where we take a step back and look at the City Council meeting, the Broken Arrow Economic Development Authority, and the Municipal Meeting on Tuesday nights. And with me today is Vice Mayor Christy Gillespie. How are you today, Vice Mayor? I'm doing great. How about yourself? I am doing fantastic. Uh, I was at the meeting last night. It was a- it Me was too. A, yeah, you were there? Yeah, <laughs> That's <was>. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, one of the cool things that um, the council gets to uh, decide on is how the city spends its money. And one of the things that was approved was the general, uh, was the sale for the general obligation bond that the voters approved back in 2018. But maybe we can take a step back and you can uh, kind of explain for everybody, what is a bond? And I, I do want to clarify, I always say this all the time, is um, the city has no money. The This is the people's money. Yes. And the people actually voted for um, our general obligation bond package in 2018. I just learned from you that we've been doing this since, since the 70s, and we've been passing bond packages. So um, a bond is where the citizens actually go in and vote. And we, before the 2018 bond, we had a lot of public meetings, and I was very involved in that before I was a city councilor, and talked about the the projects that were important to them as citizens. And so these projects that we approved last night are a result of the bond vote, and but also a result of citizens speaking out and saying, you know, these are projects that are important to us for our city, and that would be roads, um, you know, parks, you know, those quality of life projects, um, you know, flood control that, you know, we have little issues all over our city, and just public buildings, things that um, make our city better and make us stand out among the crowd um, in other cities across our, not just our state, but our nation. Well, I can definitely see how having uh, this in place is so important for our city, but maybe uh, if you can take me back for when we had our, our 2018 bond, what was the process like for you being involved in, in helping to decide to choose uh, those projects that were of interest? So I wasn't a counselor yet in 2018, but I did serve on the Build a Better Broken Era Committee at that time. And so one of the things that I did as a citizen is I went to every single public meeting that was held. And I was very, very excited and very um, opinionated about getting South Broken Arrow revitalized. And so some of those those projects for South Broken Arrow right now, or as a result of some of the things that we said as citizens that were that we wanted. But there, I mean, we all want safe streets. We all want our our streets to be more easily easy to navigate. And you know, we when we see orange cones, that makes me happy because that means we're getting better streets in our city. But you know, I was involved in the 2018 bond as a citizen, and so I hope the citizens out there listening to this will get involved as we move toward our, our, you know, when we have our next bond vote, um, that they will get involved ahead of time so they can have a, you know, a voice in the process. You can really see the uh, fruits of the labor back in 2018 and all the improvements that have happened in our city. And, um, you know, it, it's so great to have the citizens involved. Um, approved last night, we had uh, roughly around $35 million in projects. That's nothing to sneeze at. No, that's a lot. It is a lot. Um, so I'm just going to go over quickly, just kind of by the numbers. Uh, there's about 26 million, 26 million earmarked for streets. And some of the widening, widening projects that we have is a Washington Street from Lynn Lane to County Line Road, resurfacing Aspen from Albany to Kenosha, and winding 37th Street from Dearborn to Omaha. And I don't know about you, but I appreciate our roads here in Broken Arrow. Now, you know, we have some of the best roads out there. We do, and and it's because our citizens support bond projects like this. We're we're so blessed that our city, um, our citizens, see the value of keeping our streets safe. It helps with you know we're we're some of the projects we're doing are you know in front of schools, so it helps with traffic flow and in those areas. And I think we do a really good job as well of spacing out where we're doing our projects so that we have something going on in South Broken Arrow and we have something going on in you know, East Broken Arrow. And so it's not just one area of the city. And not every city can say that they can do that, that they can actually have projects going on all over their city. Um, and it's because our citizens, you know, they they get out to the polls when this happens and they vote and they 
in general, they appreciate and support all the projects that we're doing. Yeah, and you know, working here uh, at the city, I've learned quite a lot about what goes into a mile of road, and it doesn't happen overnight. There's a long process, and the first part of that process is actually budgeting for that mile stretch or two mm -hmm. mile stretch or whatever we need to do, and then you know, you have right away and acquisitions and all that stuff happens because of voter approved bonds. Right. Another part of this bond was $4.7 million for uh, public safety. Some of the things that were uh, marked for that was some new fire trucks, improvements to the fire and police training uh, center facility, mm -hmm. and uh, the designs in right away for a new fire station, fire station number eight. So anytime that you can improve your public safety and then like, um, have have new equipment coming in it just helps everyone in the city well absolutely i mean when we dial 911 we know that someone's going to show up in our city and just whenever we are adding on infrastructure when we're adding doing capital improvements for police and fire that means in the future there's going to be someone even closer if you live out east there's going to be someone even closer to you to um, respond in a timely manner and that's important as we as we grow as a city that we stay ahead of that a little bit and i think we're doing that oh i, d I definitely think we are and, and just to wrap things up some other things we have are uh uh, 3.1 million for quality of life projects, uh, things like our, our Rose Garden in Central Park and, and just other improvements in, the, in, in other districts like the Rose District to, to just kind of beautify the city, continue that process of having these quality of life uh, projects. We also have a, a money set aside for public buildings and facilities and for, you mentioned before, the stormwater projects. And you know, it, you don't really notice the uh, stormwater until it rains. Yep. And then you don't know, it's like, oh, there may be something that needs to be worked on until it rains. Right. But I think it's important to uh, keep ahead of the process by making sure that we have plans in place and the funding available to make sure that these stormwater projects get taken care of. Yeah. And I I know I, I serve on a drainage advisory committee. And until I became a city councilor, I had no idea uh, that I would be so passionate about stormwater and drainage in our city as I am. And, but I do know that it's because it affects individuals. And I see the projects that we're doing that actually help our citizens. I mean, certain subdivisions that, that we've been able to help. And it's these are issues that, like you said, until we have a, some sort of storm event, sometimes we don't know about them, but we are trying to get to a place in our city where these issues aren't as numerous, I guess you could say. Absolutely. Well, <clears throat> I think that it's great that we were able to have this funding available to take care of our city project. Absolutely. Um, and that wraps it up for uh, City Council Rewind. Is there anything else that you'd like to add? Well, I just want to say thank you for having me and thank you to the citizens of Broken Arrow for your vote for that 2018 bond because without you, we wouldn't have these funds available to make our city even better. So thanks. And with that, we'll say see you next time. See ya. Thank you for watching. This is a production of the City of Broken Arrow, the city where opportunity lives.